Oh, man. Nothing, man. I'm just saying, I'm just hoping it turns out negative so we can go. Hello. I wish it was afternoon. I wish I could say good afternoon. I just don't like the morning. Actually, the time is 10.50 a.m. I don't know why. I just don't like the morning. Anyways, so... I mean, it's not that I hate it, but not as much as... I like, I like 6 and 7 p.m. so much better. Anyway, so today we are going to get tested before we head out on Tuesday. Oh, okay, we got in. And I believe this is the building. Okay, so... Wow. Nice building that we got there. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yep, it is. I thought it sounded like it, and it is, so... Eventually... <sighs> okay. We left. Oh, man, that was too much, man. That was too much. I did put it right deep into my nostril, man. Right deep into my nostril. That was way too much. Man, this is why I'd rather get vaccinated from early and doing that test yeah i had a teeth surgery once but even that wasn't too difficult oh, let's just hope it turns out good though so that we can actually go oh man that? nothing man i'm just saying i'm just hoping it turns out negative so we can go all right guys so we got to my dad's house man the first part was easy actually you just have to open your mouth really big like in a dentist appointment, but the second part was very, very difficult. I'm never doing this ever and ever again. I was about to choke. I'm not lying. I would be stupid if I was lying, but I, I was actually about to choke when they put it right into my nostril, very, very deep into my nostril. Man, it could have hurt so bad. I'm, I could have choked, you guys. I really could have choked. And... Tomorrow, before we leave, we are going to schedule a vaccine appointment. I would like to get it in the first two days. I want to get it done as soon as possible. Because I'm never doing this ever and ever again. I'm never taking another test ever and ever again. Fucking government. But yeah, well, we will get our shots as early in the trip as we can. And I would like to get it done as early as we can so I don't have to get a test ever again we will get johnson and johnson which is the easiest of all which is only one dose and man i just feel so lucky to be 19 years old right now for now they offer the shot to those people that are 17 and above so we'll definitely get that early in the trip like the first or the second day the third day latest well yeah it's a good thing that some states are even planning to reopen everything and not require any of the SARS-2 related obligations in indoor places. Like some states are already going for that. I mean, for those who have already been vaccinated, of course. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't believe that we will be back to normal Anytime next year, okay? Those people who say so are wrong. They're just wrong. Because I do believe as well that some vaccines might fail. Like Johnson Johnson is still working pretty fine for now. And so is BioNTech. But they already threw away some doses of the AstraZeneca. They already threw away a bunch of doses of the Sinovac and like I would like to take Johnson and Johnson. This is why I would like to take Johnson and Johnson. Yeah, enough with all that for now. It's just that I don't want to get another test ever again. It's just too difficult. Today was almost too difficult. Ah, oh, yes. I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. And we'll schedule a vaccine appointment. Yes! Alright guys, now that we got shopping done. So just about now I am going to when we get back home, I'm going to continue working even more with my sketchbook where I write my diary. I got up to July 12th, 2019 so far. I don't record every day in a diary, but I record dates where important events happen. Either way, 
like when we go and return from every trip. Oh man, it's still pretty hot and on that car. So I worked even a bit more on the diary and I got up to that part that me and my mom explored around Sokka University inside the campus. It wasn't just me and my mom, it was a group of six people. Okay, thank God I didn't say five. In the last three times I said five, six. So it was six people, including the guide. So there was this guy that took us to the school and I filmed quite a lot of places. You've seen the clips. I filmed around the pool. I filmed the theater. There was a sports hall where there's a big basketball court. I didn't film that. There's also, there are two art exhibition places, one of them with a bunch of galleries. And I did film that, but there was even a bigger exhibition with all the instruments. I didn't film that though. I, I filmed the theater. There was also this room that looked more like a typical classroom. Perhaps like a physics classroom, history classroom, like much bigger. I did film that. <laughs> Yo, look at them. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh hi <yeah. laughs> So yeah, kid drivers. Wow. One in white, one in black. Wow. What a fantastic neighborhood drive. Yep, just some four-year-old boys driving around a neighborhood. Just like when you drive a car in a grocery center, you know those cars that they have? We like that pretty much. I don't swallow that, mate. <laughs> Look at that. What if I took it, drive it? I'm driving around like those kid drivers. Oh my God, those kid drivers surprised me pretty good. Okay, let's see if I'm gonna be able to throw, spread, right over these. Ready? Ah, get another one. Yeah. No, I didn't. Okay, we'll get your results tomorrow. I did. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah, we still haven't got the results yet. I haven't got my result yet. They said that they were very likely to give it out during this evening. So we're still waiting for the results. Once we get all the results, we will feel more and more ready to go. But it'll be very exciting. It'll be a very exciting trip. But... The only downside is I don't like those health experts who just predict crazy things. That, of course, is just a dream and a hoax. I've read an article about one health official saying I will be back to normal in the winter. Fucking idiot, man. I don't believe her. Personally, I don't believe anyone that would say anything like that. That's why I hate those health officials. Those, they're not even experts, they're idiots. Anyone that would say such thing is idiot. October is the start of the flu season and continues until sometime in end of March or beginning April. At least on a positive side, during the last flu season, 2020 to 21, I got the seasonal flu only one time, which is so much better than the 2019 and 20 season, which I got the flu four times. One towards the end of September, which at the same time I had lost my voice. The second time towards the middle of November, the third time in the middle of January, and the fourth time in March, the same week that schools were shutting down and hence we moved to doing online lessons. And last seasonal flu, that one time that I got it, something very strange about it, I got it in August. It was still August when I got it. Yeah, it was end of August, but still. I mean, we're talking about August, you guys. August is still a summer season. And I had it for only one day. 
and I had to fight it for like seven hours. And I'm like, has climate change reached its peak or what? I never got the seasonal flu in August. But yeah, what a weird time. I mean, that's why. That's why I don't believe in those idiots who would say such a thing. Wonderful sunset this evening, but I still haven't got my result. And I'm kind of nervous to get my result. It's either one or the other. All right, guys, that's all to say for today's vlog. Almost. I don't know why I have such a weird feeling. Not just because I got a test. During the process, it was very difficult, I have to say. I mean, they put it deep into my nostril. I couldn't even hold it for a second. That was like a torture. But yeah, let me tell you why. In 2021, people have started becoming lazy asses. While we were entering and exiting the parking lot, that entry and exit barrier, it took more than a minute for them to open and there was no security guard. While we were ordering dinner, usually it takes 30 to 40 minutes to come, but today it took more than an hour, lazy turds, and I still haven't got my test results, fortunately. Me, my mom and my dad have, I haven't, and I would like to go there again tomorrow and find out what it is, but I'm still confident that it's negative because in an event that turns positive, then the health minister would ring us right away, giving us the information that, hey, your test is positive, you have to quarantine yourself for 10 days. But I'm still in this mood that 95% will be negative. Very confident with that. But I would, I would like to go back there tomorrow and see what it is, since they still haven't given it, because they're lazy turds. I'm not gonna talk anymore in today's vlog, you guys. I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog, and let's just hope to make tomorrow a better day. Have a good day.